Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of Funko Pop Review. Today is Season 1, Episode 5. So we only have three episodes left, because of course there's going to be eight episodes. Next episode, Episode 6, I'll be doing my top 10 most expensive, no, top 15 most expensive Funko Pops. But anyway, let's get started. But before, I just want to say I did order some pop of bases off the Funko Shop. Don't know why. I just wanted to share that because I did get a pop along with that order. Um, so the first pop here, speaking of the Funko Shop, is a Funko Shop exclusive. This is the Funko Shop exclusive Lucky Charms box. Now this one came out on the Funko Shop I think a while ago, quite a, a few weeks ago. And um, this is, this one is still on the Funko Shop if you want to pick this one up. I did. And I think this one does look really cool. I will, of course, be doing out-of-box um, shots at the end of the at the end of the video. But yeah, I think this pop does look really cool. And it's my first ever one in the Foodies line. And um, this one is kind of based off kind of like the retro Lucky Charms look, which I also think looks really cool. Bottom there to Lucky Charms, there's the new Funko Shop sticker. He is number 109 in the Pop Foodies line. There's the Lucky Charms logo there. On the side, you have a picture of the Pop. And then on the back, it has the same Lucky Charms logo. And of course, General Mills. Next Pop here is one that I picked up over at the comic book store to help complete my um, Back to the Future set. And this one here is the Marty McFly 1955. Now, I really like this one. This is probably one of my favorite ones out of the out of the new Back to the Future wave. And yeah, overall, I think this pop does look really cool. The bottom there, it says Marty McFly 1955. He is number 907 in the pop movies line. There's the Back to the Future logo. And then on the side, there's a picture of the pop. And then it's kind of hard to see because of the brightness, but all the way down at the bottom there, you can kind of see it. Um, there you go. There's like the clock tower and like um, Yeah, there's the clock tower there in the bottom. You can see it and then on the back It says back to the future with the rest of the with the rest of the common wave So we have this one here the Marty McFly 1955 Number 958 Marty McFly with glasses 959 the Doc Brown with helmet 960 Doc Brown 2015, 961 Marty McFly and Puffy Vest, 962 Marty McFly and Future Outfit, 963 Biff Tannen. Now, also, there's the DeLorean at the bottom there. Now, I don't have many of the commons from this wave. I have most of the exclusives. I have, like, the Target exclusive with the rainbow metallic hat. I probably won't pick up the common from this line because uh, the Target exclusive is the one that's more accurate to the actual movie. So I won't be picking up that one. But then I also have like the San Diego Comic Con, Marty McFly, um, Check and Watch, and then I have Doc with Einstein. So I have a majority of the exclusives. There's only like a few exclusives. I don't have like the Funko Shop, Marty and Jacket, and the Walmart exclusive, Marty McFly with Hoverboard. And I think that's all the. Um, exclusives i'm really missing so i, I do plan on getting i want to have every single back to the future pop and yeah overall i think this pop does look really cool and this one's definitely like i said one of my favorites out of the line personally i think i like the doc 2015 and marty mcfly and puffy vest better than this one um but this one is definitely one of my favorites next pop is another funko shop exclusive that I picked up. Now this one I picked up for my brother. This is the Star Trek Original Series Funko Shop exclusive Spock. I mean, I think this pop does look really cool. He's holding a cat. Now I haven't seen the show in a while, um, but I have seen a majority of the episodes, and um, I don't remember why. I think he has a cat. I don't remember why, but um, it's still Spock. And I think this pop does look really cool. If you want to pick this one up, this one is still available on the Funko Shop. I'm surprised this one didn't sell out. The bottom there, it says Spock. There's the Funko Shop exclusive logo, or sticker. He's number 1,142 in the pop television line. There's the Star Trek original series logo. They basically use the Star Trek logo, like the same box style. Um, just the difference is the name, so say, like, 
Um, instead of original series, it w would say, like, n like Next Generation, I think that's a Star Trek show. Um, so yeah, they aren't always say original series, they use the same box, but there's the Star Trek logo there. On the side, you have a picture of the pop, and then on the back, there's the rest of this wave, so we have the common ones, Captain Kirk and Captain's Chair, Khan, and those are the only two that don't go with the other ones, and then we have the Mirror Mirror outfit, so we got Captain Kirk, Spock, Sulu, and Uhura. I do want to get the Captain Kirk and Captain's Chair, I think that one it looks really cool, and um, I might get Khan. I, I, I might get con, and then there's uh, the um, Spock exclusive, and then there's one more exclusive to Target, which is a flocked one. I forgot the name of that one, but yeah, I do think the Spock one, it does look really cool. This next pop, guys, that I picked up here was one, these next three are all common. This one I picked up at Target because it was on sale, it was only $5, and I really do enjoy this pop, and this here is the Rick O'Connell from The Mummy. And I think this pop does look really cool. Now, I did almost pre-order this one during Funko Fair. Glad I didn't, because I got it on sale. But instead, I decided to wait and pre-order the Happy Days ones instead. Which, <sighs> my pre-orders for the Happy Days ones got cancelled. So that absolutely sucks. So, I cancelled... Um, they got cancelled, so I'm picking them up at the comic book store, and I, I only paid like 8 bucks for both of them but at the comic book store. Of course, Fonzie and Richie are both 15 bucks, so I did pick up Fonzie. Next time I'll go, I'll get Richie, and then I also want to get Arnold, too. I decided to wait on Arnold, Arnold, not pre-order him. Um, so yeah, Fonzie... Will be coming in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I think this pop does look really cool. I really do like this one. And uh, the Mummy movie, the Mummy movies, the first one, it's one of my favorite movies. So yeah, this was a definite pickup for me. The bottom there it says Rick O'Connell. He is number <coughs> 1080 in the pop movies line. And there's the Mummy logo on the side. There's a picture of the pop, like hieroglyphics in the background. Then on the back it says the mummy with the rest of the wave. It has the pyramids in the background, background which looks really cool. So there's Rick O'Connell, which is number 1080, 1081, Evelyn, then 1082, Imhotep. I, I, can, I could never pronounce the name of the mummy, but that is when I do want to pick up the Imhotep. Then I might pick up Evelyn, I don't know, but I do... I, I probably will want, if I get uh, the mummy, then I'll most likely pick up Evelyn. Um, yeah, I think this pop does look really cool. Um, I think this one will be a good addition to my movies line. Um, so yeah, overall, I think this pop does look really cool. Now, this next one here is one that I ordered off the Funko Shop. This is a common, like I said. Now, this one I got from my cousin, and, uh, cause he will, he's going to UCLA. So I got him the UCLA Joe Bruin. I think this pop does look really cool. And, um, yeah, like I said, this one, it does look really cool. The bottom there, it says Joe Bruin. He's number 16 in the college mascots line. And there's the UCLA logo. On the side there, there's a picture of the pop with the, like, the team logo, I guess, on the back. Now, on the back, it has the actual UCLA logo there. And then it has, I can't, the football field. And, um... This, and it says, the Joe Bruin University of California, Los Angeles. Then, other ones in the sign, number 17, Wildcat University of Kentucky. Ramsey's University of North Carolina, which is one I do want to pick up. And then, Butch T. Cougar, Washington State University. And the newest line of college mascot pops, pops, the newest line, is um, all basketball schools. Because um, the first line, the first two waves, actually, were um, football schools, and I think, I don't know, they'll most likely stick to mascots, because with players, players are always coming and going out of college, because um, some could start playing when they're a senior, make a pop, and then and they will discontinue the pop after they stop. It's kind of different with, like, NBA, Major League Baseball, they'll get traded, uh, they'll get traded to different places, um, but they m will stay probably in the league for, like, 10 years maybe, 
Um, so yeah, I think this pop does look really cool. And I'm when the because they did a vote thing, then whoever won, Funko would make a new line of them. College mascots won. And in the original design concepts, they had Herbie Husker and uh, the Florida Gator one. And my cousin, who lives in, he lives in Florida, this is what I'm getting him for. I'd get him the Florida Gator too. Um, yeah, so I would get that, both of those actually. And um, if, I would definitely get a Florida Gator. Uh, one for my aunt and uncle because they live in Florida. Um, like I said, so they do like the Gators. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, I would definitely get one for them, one for my collection. But I'm waiting for Herbie Husker. I mean, come on. They definitely will, they should definitely make a Herbie Husker. Because they did skip four spots. I think it went from, like, 10 to 16. Or, or was it 11 to 16? I don't know. They did skip a few, so I think there's, like, four or five numbers that they skipped. Probably for a new wave. Um, so yeah, if they make a Herbie Husker, I'll probably pre-order like 10 of those. Okay, that, that was a joke. I live in Nebraska. That would be a definite pickup for me. I'd absolutely love this one. Love that one if they did make it. Um, and then there were a few other college mascots that I would also like to see. And that I would definitely pick up. But Herbie Husker... I'm waiting, Funko. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to make a Herbie Husker for this line. But yeah, I think the ones that they have are pretty cool. Except the Ohio Buckeye one. We don't like... Yeah, I don't like the Buckeyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, some, some of the ones that they've made are actually pretty cool. Uh, most of them are other Big Ten schools. Big Ten college colleges. Because they've done um, Wisconsin, the Badgers... And Ohio Buckeyes, so I'm waiting for a Nebraska Cornhuskers one. Yeah, I think this pop does look really cool. And I also like with the college mascot line that they aren't just strictly staying the football schools. Um, they're also doing some basketball schools that are known for the basketball. And then this next pop I have here, this last one, is also basketball related. I picked up here the Bugs Bunny from Space Jam and New Legacy. They had this one at my Barnes and Nobles, so I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll pick this one up. Um, cause I thought this one does look really cool, and I do want to have a Bugs Bunny from Space Jam. Um, I never did get the one from the original Space Jam, which, um, personally, I'd rather have the pop for the original Space Jam, cause I haven't seen the new one yet, um, but I did pick up Porky Pig off the Funko Shop, um, because it was from Space Jam, and because they've never made a Porky Pig pop before, and, um, the Bugs Bunny one, it can either go either way for it. A Space Jam one, um, but on this one, he does have the newer, updated, um, Toon Squad jersey. At the bottom there, it says Bugs Bunny. He's number 1060 in the movies line. There's the Space Jam and New Legacy logo. On the side, you have a picture of the pop. Now, on the back, there's the Common Wave. Now, these, these four were, um, released earlier, um, because they did release four of them earlier before the movie came out. And, um, then they did the whole big wave. So, for the four ones that were released earlier, we have 1059, LeBron James, 1060, Bugs Bunny, 1061, Lola Bunny, and 1062, Daffy Duck, as coach. And I would probably want to pick up... I do want to pick up Daffy Duck. I think that would be a cool one. Um, so yeah, with the Bugs Bunny, though, quick. Um, these ones were... Uh, kind of came out a little bit earlier than the other ones. If you look on, let's just say, like, the Sylvester and Tweety. On the back of that box of the Funko Shop Porky Pig, which I mentioned. They will have the whole entire complete wave. Not just the, the four pops. Because they, I think, in total made like 12 different ones on the back just common so they did make a lot for this movie and um so yeah i think this pop does look pretty cool and i am glad that i did pick this one up so the first pop here we got is the lucky charms box so sorry it's probably a little bright um but says it general mills right there then there's the lucky the leprechaun and then there's the it says lucky charms right there and then it says frosted oat cereal with marshmallow bits and, um, I think this pop turned out really good. I know a lot of people 
dislike the foodies line. Um, but I actually seen this one in person. I'd say I kind of like it a bit better than I used to. Um, cause this pop actually turned out better than I thought. And I also like how there's like the tab for the cereal box on the back. There's nothing. It's just red. Would have been cool if they put like nutrition facts or something. That would be kind of funny. And then there's the cereal spoon right there. And then he's holding a um a marshmallow in his um pop. It's supposed to look like the lucky right there because he has the yellow spoon and the marshmallow um heart. See, I think this pop actually turned out great and better than I expected. Next pop we got here is the Marty McFly 1955. Now this one, for some weird reason, doesn't really want to stand. So, yeah, it doesn't really stand. So he has his 1950s shirt on, then he has the jacket, then he has the wooden skateboard that he uses to escape Biff, um, using the chase against Biff and the clock town square hill valley square whatever you want to call it but yeah i think this pop turned out really good i personally do really enjoy this one uh, like i said back to the future is one of my favorite movies i say i probably like some of the exclusive ones a bit better like the doc and einstein or the marty chicken watch but i do like this pop and i think this is a really cool one he also has his shoes on that he wears in 1955 and I think this pop looks exactly like how we did in the actual movie. The next pop here we got is Spock. I think this one it does look really cool. Um, it looks exactly like um, Spock in the show. Even with kind of like the eye makeup there looks good. The hair looks good. And um, I think they captured his suit really good. It looks a lot like Spock. Then I also think that the cat turned out really good as well. I don't have much to say about this one because this one is pretty plain. I personally prefer the original Spock that they made because during the original wave for the 60s show, I prefer that Spock better than the newer one. But um, I still wanted a Spock either way. So I'm like, I I'll just pick up this one because it's easier to get than spending a lot of money on the old one. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this pop did turn out really good. Next pop here is Rick O'Connell from The Mummy. I think this one, it turned out really good. Uh, the hair turned out good. He has the sword. And then he has kind of his, um, his two guns there. I think this pop did turn out really good. It is a really detailed pop. There's the back there. Also pretty detailed with the straps and stuff. Um, his harness, I guess, whatever you want to call it, um, that holds his two, uh, pistols there. And yeah, I think this pop actually turned out way better than I thought it would. And yeah, overall, I think this pop turned out really cool. Next pop we got here is Joe Bruin. I do really enjoy the mascot pops that they make, uh, like the NBA ones, MLB, college. I think they all look really cool. Now this one, it does look really detailed. His jersey there says UCLA number one, and then the basketball... It says UCLA right there. And then on the back, it says Joe Bruin, number one. And yeah, I think this pop actually turned out really good. Really detailed, too. Like, the fur and everything is really detailed. And um, I like the um, like basketball jersey on him. Yeah, overall, this pop did turn out really good. This is my first ever college mascot pop I've seen in person. So yeah, overall, this pop did turn out really, really good. Because, technically, I guess, well, I did have two college mascot ones at one point. Um, I have this one, which is going to be a gift for my cousin. And then the other one was the University of Georgia pop, which uh, my uncle, who lives in Florida, he's from Georgia. So he really likes Georgia as a team. He likes Georgia and Florida State, which is kind of weird because they're both rivals. Um, but yeah, he really likes Georgia because he's from Georgia, so I did get him the hairy dog. I think the name was the Georgia mascot. I did get him that one. And uh, originally, it was supposed to come to our house, and then we'd ship it to them in Florida. But no, they gave us, they sent us the wrong one. It was an anime one, and I don't know what to do with it because um, I don't watch any anime. So I might give it to a friend. Sell it to the comic book store, get some money back. That actually might be a good idea, just selling it to the comic book store. I'll sell it to them for how much ever it's worth. And, um, I don't know. I'll just 
will get rid of itself. Wait, or we might just use it for a white elephant gift exchange around Christmas time. Who knows? But either way or not, that one's. I'm, I don't consider it part of the collection because it's technically one I didn't want. Any ones that I do want, though, I consider it that I have. I consider it part of the collection. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Next pop I have here is Bugs Bunny. He doesn't really want to stand because some of the vinyl right there is kind of falling off, so that's why it doesn't really stand. Um, but I think this pop does look really cool. He has the silver basketball there. There's the Toon Squad jersey, and then on the back it says number one. There's his tail. And um, this is my first um, Bugs Bunny pop, and I think this pop did turn out real good. He has his two teeth on the front. And I would still want to get the normal Bugs Bunny. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this pop does look really cool. And I would also like Funko to make more, like, Looney Tunes a uh, new Looney Tunes wave with them, just kind of not in their Space Jam outfits, like, we didn't, didn't, like, a normal Porky Pig, a normal, we have a normal Bugs Bunny, a normal Elmer Fudd, a normal, a normal Foghorn Leghorn, Leghorn, sorry. Um, so yeah, I would like Funko to do that, but I think this Bugs Bunny did turn out really good. So that was today's episode of Funko Pop Review. Uh, what was your favorite? Was it the Funko Shop exclusive Lucky Charms box? The Marty McFly 1955? The Funko Shop exclusive Spock? Or was it the Rick O'Connell there? Sorry about the glare. And the mummy Joe Bruin. Uh, the UCLA mascot. Or was it Bugs Bunny from Space Jam? There's a glare. That is not better. There we go, there he is. Personally, my favorite is probably either the Marty McFly or Rick O'Connell. Um, but tell me what was your favorite pop in the comments section down below. And that's today's episode of Funko Pop Review. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.